We are back. I'm here. Ready to get started again. <laughs> We're gonna ride in a little bucket. Okay. Wait, I remember. The outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? This postcard. The mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Yoink. Postcard. Gain new item. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Okay, so we got a little bit of mystery as to who B12 really is. I did notice when I loaded in this time uh, to play the game that the name of the studio, I think, is B12. I think that's right. So the publisher is Annapurna, but I believe the actual dev studio is called B12. Okay. I guess we're just going... Oh, this is to get around that fence. What does that say? Neko? Neko Corporation? Dude, Neko Wafers? No, nah, that's with two C's. Translate. Safe zone. Oh, that's good. Oh, doesn't seem like a safe zone. Um, aliens. Alien alert. Oh, shit. Alright, hopefully they can't climb. I'm just gonna assume that they're still following us, though. The slums. Oh. Um. Oh. Red alert. Turn on the alarm, it's a cat. Why is he so scared of me? What the heck? Okay. Some funky music. That's a dead end up there. Why does no one want to play with me? Fuck in here, it's cat! Oh, is this guy gonna try to like fight me? Or is he just here to tell me something? Oh. What's his deal? Do I trust him? I guess there's not really much else to do, huh? Is he gonna grab me? X to meet. Uh, uh, whatever that says. They seem to have their own language. You don't say. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. <laughs> that is, that is a fair point. Like, what? It, what is the cat eating at this point? Just like, find random fish. Find scraps of food around the city. I don't think I'm interested in eating any robots, though. That doesn't sound very tasty. Is this why their clocks go to, like, 16? Because they're all 
robots. Not that that makes any sense. I guess 16-bit? Maybe? Does that make sense? You look lost. What do you need? Uh, postcard. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. Like the book? Uh, but they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Okay. Yeah, which building? I can't see it. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. Can I talk to everyone, or...? Joris. You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. What the hell's a Zerk? You really thought you'd take the elevator? I'd never seen that thing work, and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Holy shit, dude. Um, I guess there's really no point in showing them the postcard, right? Maybe there's unique dialogue. His name's Ronin? Such a beautiful dream. What a shame it's just a dream. Yeah, no one believes in it. I bet it's real, though. Ooh, very pretty. Angela. Why go up there? There's nothing there. What does she have to say about the postcard? I think Momo has some pictures. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? Everyone wants us to talk to Momo. Um, says Johan. Uh, hmm? Please don't interrupt my meditation with strange images. Sorry. These guys like monks? You robo monks? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck with the carpet. Uh, so we need to go up. Onwards and upwards. Got this guy over here. I love their little, like, faces, the little screens. Uh, Roshi. I take care of the plants. The humans improved them so much. Now they require very little light. I just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is an amazing technology. Some people tried to find an exit in this city. It didn't go well. Ooh. That sounds, uh, grim. There's, like, vending machines down here? Oh, I can actually use it. Is he gonna tell me to put in money? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, energy drink? <laughs> do, do cats need energy drinks, though, really? I think they're good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the zoomies. Like, I'm just gonna be like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> paper bag on my head. Wait, oh, oh, it's making it so I can't control where I'm going. <laughs> I'm like walking into a wall. Oh, I'm just stuck against a wall. Is it, is it like invert the controls? Okay. I got it off my head. I'm okay, guys. Don't worry. Uh, there's a safe. Take safe's mysterious password. Use digicode. Digicode. Digital code. Uh, is it in here? Did they just put the password on the safe? It's written, follow the numbers, but it looks like a binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. We must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It's probably related to the safe. Okay. So they, they, they didn't just put the code right on the safe. They couldn't have made it that easy for us. Wait, what's this? Oh, I thought it was like something I could translate. I can just get onto it. I don't think I can go anywhere from here. Oh, there's just like a dude here. I didn't even see him. 
Uh, hi. Uh, Mar Marusk? Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Not much of a musician, are you? Blue Sky, ha. I will write a song about that one day. Okay. Bro's gonna get on Blue Sky. Look at some tweets. Uh, let's see. How do we go up? Kind of looks like maybe I can just go up from here. Maybe. I'm not sure if this is going to take me exactly where I need to go, but... Up is the right direction. Yeah, this seems proper. Uh, okay. Seems like what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I like how randomly I'll just meow without pushing the button. What's in here? This is the house I already came from. Oh wait, no, I got here by way of like zip line, right? I feel like my my short term memory for some reason is terrible with stuff like this. Okay. Oh, there's a computer. Clementine's notebook. It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. What was that like? What was that like party horn noise? This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the... Uh, it went too fast. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. Transceiver? What? What? I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but, I'll, but it'll probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who Guardian told us about. So is he like a... Is he like another robot, or is he... Like an actual human? Oh, look at the reflection in these screens. It's like a real reflection of the cat. Weird. It's very advanced. I guess I shouldn't be surprised this game came out last year, but still. Kind of blows my mind sometimes. Sheet music. Maybe I can bring it to the musician. He's a, he's a musician without any songs. Creeping under the bed. <laughs> I can't just, like, go to sleep here. Give up on seeing Momo. Oh, there's, like, a gramophone. I don't know. I don't see any, like, finals. Okay. I think that's pretty much it for that room. Found a couple things. Oh, wait. Is that more sheet music or is that like a note or something? More sheet music. Can I actually read it or... Get it translated? That's cool down. I would love to hear that played. Yeah, maybe the musician that we saw. What's this one? This one is called Ballad of the Lonely Robot. What a title. Uh, I would love to hear that played. It's a hell of a title for a song. <laughs> is that gonna... Is that gonna get someone's attention? What's that sound at the door? It's probably nothing. Can't do it again. Ah, dang it. Someone's whistling away in there. Alright, so it looks like... We need to get to there. Not entirely sure how we're going to do that, but it's just one step at a time here. Swanito. 
Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Oh, so those weren't stars earlier. I mean, that's what I thought, because they were, like, in a perfect circle. What if I show him the, the photo? The outside Momo told me he'd get me there one day. I've heard that the barter man is looking for stuff like that. Oh, the energy drink? It's a very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. Well, then why can't I read it? Oh, yes. Everyone around here knows this symbol. It's the outsiders. They live on the upper floors of this area. You can probably talk to Momo about this. Clementine's notebook. Okay. A music sheet? I don't play an instrument. Sorry. Okay, so I... Yeah, I probably need to bring that to the... Um, the musician dude, right? Oh, nice. I can just go to sleep here if I want. Just enjoy a nice little... Moment of silence. That, the robot next to us is like going to sleep too. That's so cool. I would probably do that for way longer if I wasn't uh, recording this for content. <laughs> probably just like sit there. Uh, okay. Um,. I think if I just go this way, there's another dude over here. Robo dude. What's up, man? No, go down. Down. Mito, please don't bother Vapora. She's so clumsy. Okay, I can't even like show him anything. He's busy. He is a busy bee. What's over here? Oh, there's another bucket. Wait, what? I mean, I can do this after, right? I can... I gotta get up there. I should be able to get back over here. I think somehow I can get over there, too. If I just go down and then back up. Let's check it out quick. There's a remote. There's a TV here. Okay. Not sure what's going on on the TV. Oh, there's like prison bars and like... Okay. There's some like robot with a bully club or something? That doesn't seem good. Tells a little bit of a story. Can't jump across. There's a dude here. We will make our way to Momo. Talk to this guy and then I'll go back. I like this guy, the little flat cap. Hepter. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I, but I won't because I don't understand why. <laughs> He's got, like, little fake glasses and a mustache and stuff. He's, this guy's got a lot of character. The surface? Oh, it's a sensitive subject around here. There's some whose code can understand that concept. There are ones who... There are ones who know about the outside but are too resigned to do anything. And then there's the outsiders. You can imagine how they feel. Well, there's only Momo now. Yeah, that's what they said is that he was going to stay. Oh, that's what Clementine said, right? The surface. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, I just... My bad. I just showed him that. Okay. There's a logo of the Outsiders? They were a group of people looking for the surface. Momo was one of them. One day, they decided to put their plan into action and went into the sewers. Sadly, not a peep from them since. For some reason, Momo stayed behind. I think he'll always regret that decision. Poor guy. 
still don't know if Momo is a robot. Let's go find out. I feel like it's sort of safe to assume that he is. But who knows? Can I I can take another energy drink? It's kind of cool music. Again, very funky. What's this? It's like a library? Okay. <laughs> More sheet music. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. Man, that's, uh, that's pretty topical, considering all the AI stuff recently. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's another place I can sleep. Gotcha. I don't have any water in here. like tropical beach scene up there on the on the screen what's over here can translate this note hey doc I found the keys to your safe you need to be more careful with these okay new item keys it's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books just the librarian so there's a safe somewhere in this room is that right Somewhere behind some books. Well, that really narrows it down, right? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this will help. Destroy this nice old leather sofa. Oh, there it is. I didn't even see it there. To use the keys. And what is this? It said takes docs something. Take docs notebook, I guess. It's a strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh, the Zerks must be the little tiny aliens, right? Um, that actually reminds me of the, the Yurks from Animorphs. If there are any Animorphs uh, fans out there. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who Guardian told us about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the working on it. Keep getting distracted, okay? Oh, there's like a dude. I didn't even see that. It's like a dude, um, dead robot dude passed out over there. Looks like someone was reading a few too many books. It's the, that's the danger. That's the danger of reading, kids. Okay? It'll put you to sleep. <laughs> um, yeah, I should just be able to go this way. Go to the left and up. Nice. I totally forgot about the, like, holding A to chain jumps thing. I haven't been doing that at all. <laughs> oh, big surprise. I'm almost a robot. This TV doesn't work. Oh. He's got, like, such a sad 
rainbow face. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? <laughs> you want to go outside? Go outside? <laughs> uh, well don't bother, it's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that... <laughs> fucking transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. Momo's notebook, one out of four. Gained new item. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Oh, poor guy. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine, uh, Baltazar, Doc, and Momo. I'm assuming the first Z is silent there. It looks like Momo's name was added was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Okay. Oh, there's the the four of them together, huh? Okay. Very cool. Outsiders. That's their logo. And that's like a what a, a like a neon sign or something, sort of. It's like a little light up um, sign, I guess not neon. Can change the music. I think there's only two stations. <laughs> there's another paper bag. <laughs> Do you ever feel? Like a paper bag is stuck on your head. I can't even take it off. I have to knock it off. Come on. What? <laughs> there we go. Got to bump into something hard enough. What's this? Oh, there's a toy. Yay. <laughs> I wish I could, like, pounce on it, you know? I feel like that's the only thing that's like missing from the mechanics so far, but maybe we'll see that in the future here. Is this that door I was like flying at earlier, but this is the other side of it? No, it's not. That was somewhere else. That was a totally different one. What is the... What is this thing where it says our Aurakin? I don't know what that is. Oraken? Press X to remember. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Oh. Okay, but we're making progress. It's kind of sad, but hopefully we'll get a little bit more of B12's uh, backstory. Maybe even their real name? What's over here? Isn't there like a light I can use? Yeah. Uh, a bunch of boxes. Boxes of socks. Sheet music. Nice. Okay, so this game does have stuff in the way of collectibles. I just wasn't seeing any of it till now. <laughs> Makes me think I, I probably missed some stuff. In fact, I think when I loaded up the game, it told me that I had missed, like, a memory or something. It said that I didn't have one, but I can always go back. I always have that mentality of, like, I can go back, but then after I complete a game, I rarely go back and get all the collectibles, honestly. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun and fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it's, it is the only celestial object known to foster life. 
<laughs> According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the Moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interaction with the Moon creates the tides, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. So, I mean, we know that this is taking place on Earth. It is sci-fi, but it's terrestrial sci-fi. This symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. That window over there? We already visited this place, but we can check if there is other signs like that. Check if there are other signs like that? I guess whatever. Alright, well, let's go over there then. Sounds good to me. I can't, like, I can't, like, swipe at these. Did I forget what button it is already? I guess only some things you can do that with. Mostly the, I think it's, like, the, the paint cans or whatever. So, back into this window, huh? Looking for... He said we're looking for symbols. This soundtrack is super cool. Yeah, this is where we found Clementine's journal. Something I'm supposed to be seeing here. Some pictures. There's like a what? A deep fryer? Pizza box? Now I want pizza. Hmm. Okay. I feel like it was basically telling me like I missed something, but I already have Clementine's journal. Is that what they were trying to is that what he's trying to say? I feel like he was trying to get me to find this. But maybe it's maybe it's because I didn't show it to him. No, I showed it to him. I just did it earlier is all. What's our current, like, thing, then? We found three notebooks. One more and we're good. We have to look in the abandoned flats in the area. You should be able to see them all from the rooftops. Look for an outsider logo. Okay, so I need to find another notebook. That's what I'm missing. Outsider logo. That's not the it's not the symbol on that lantern. It looks like the thing on the journal, right? Um Okay. I feel like it's trying to tell me to go that way, right? Camera kind of like defaulted that direction. Don't think we've been that way. Because we didn't go past uh, this dude. Whoever this is. Vapora, careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Fuck your buckets. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> I'm just like, don't choke! This guy's not very happy about it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Oops, yeah, <laughs> that was my fault. No one will know. <laughs> I guess you don't have to do that, right? It could have just been a nice guy, left him alone. How do I... I need to go here? How do I get up there? Oh wait, have I been... 
Is it possible to be in that apartment? Have I been in there? I'm getting confused about which one I haven't been in yet, in case you can't tell. I feel like this game is just like so much to take in at once. Oh, maybe from the top? Ventilation power supply. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And that way I don't get chewed up by the fan, I'm guessing, on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Let's jump down. And we need another notebook. What is this in the ashtray? I don't know why that's where, like, my brain immediately went, but I'm like, what is that? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of, like, futuristic thing, or maybe it's just, like, uh, something for smoking cigarettes, and I just don't recognize it. Let's drink some water. is good for something. I think that's just our way out, though. Is there not a notebook in here? There's gotta be, right? You would think that it would be, like, over on that desk, or... Oh, there go the boxes. Maybe I can knock over these, too. Oh, there it is. That was pretty clever. Finally, the, no the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Balthazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. Inconceivable! Uh, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Oh! There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. Oh, is that what the, the television thing is? If I can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show them what we found. Alright. Uh, what's this, like, alternate way out? Also, does anything happen if I knock over this stack? Anything hidden in there? So it was in one of the boxes. That's why I couldn't find it. I don't feel like too bad for not realizing I could I could go into that apartment because you had to go all the way on the top and come in from the top. But once I figured that out, it was pretty obvious. So I can go all the way down there. That's not where we're going though. Not yet. Back to Momo. Um, Momo is... this one. Big orange sign. Awesome. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Nope, found all of them. Oh, you found Clementine's notes? She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I've ever met. Uh, he said the same thing about the safe code that that other dude said. The guy who was, like, sleeping out there. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. 
Clementine, Balthazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you. I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Alright. Pretty proud of my work. Et voila, it works. Come with me. All right, et, et, et voila. Would you pronounce the T? If it's French, you probably don't pronounce the T, right? <laughs> they don't pronounce anything. Um, up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. Transceiver, a new item. You're the only one small and quick enough to... Uh, you're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Yo, that's a lot of pressure. Sounds pretty cool, though. Okay. Wait, where are we going all the way up there? Is that what he's talking about? Okay, so we've got a mission. Got to install the transceiver. Rooftops. Oh, there's some Zerks over there. At least we know what they are now. We know what they're called. Although we kind of knew, like, how dangerous they were already. Why would I want to attract enemies? Oh, get off of here. Get out, get out of here. Get off of me. I guess maybe I can use that to lure them away or lure them in a certain direction or something. I don't know. Can they, they, uh, can they climb at all or they just kind of jump? Okay, so I can kind of use that to kite them, like get them to go a certain direction then evade them. Gotcha. Yeah, I am fast. I'm faster than the robots, man. So they'll... The, the, even the robots are scared of them because they'll eat, like, metal and stuff? It's kind of freaky. The, so, uh, the city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope. And not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Awesome. So that's a little bit of lore there as to why there are so many neon signs. It was like a huge middle finger. It's kind of cool. Um, where are we going? I thought maybe I could run up that. <laughs> which, which way? I thought I could jump onto that barrel too, but no. Oh, right here? Let's go. Oh, I can use the momentum again. Over to this side. Looks like I need to get this over here. So I need to get up there. Solving the puzzles. Man, this is this is dangerous. If you if you fell from this height, that would be bad even for a cat. They say that thing where cats always land on their feet, but that doesn't mean that you can't like break your legs. Not, and not in the like break a leg like good type way. <laughs> 
mean in the like owl pain way. Oh, maybe I can trap them all inside. Nice. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> I didn't realize I was gonna open the other the other door. <laughs> okay. I guess I guess I should have just left it. But now they can't get back through at least. I guess I did that the way it was supposed to be done. I just wasn't even thinking. <laughs> I feel like they expect that though, that you're gonna like push the button and then be like, oh yeah, that's right. This side opens too. What is this shit that's growing everywhere? This is gross. I was gonna mention it earlier, but it didn't really like take full effect until now that I realized that like there's this stuff growing everywhere. What the hell? Okay. Seems like there was some sort of huge corporation in charge here. Is that the stuff that the the Zerks like hatch out of? Are these their eggs? And I want them to like start hatching all of a sudden. It's gonna be terrifying. So wait, can I do something with this? I don't think so. Oh, I think I I think I see what I need to do here. I gotta knock over this plank. And then there's a little vent that I can crawl through. Awesome. Whoa. Ew. It's like I'm it's like I'm in the upside down. Gross, like spores and squishy stuff everywhere. Going this way. Okay, we've got we've got uh enemies. Oh no, oh no. No 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 Oh Alright, that's the that's the first death, I guess. That was grim. I gotta be more strategic. I didn't know like where I was planning on going after that. I thought that um for some reason I thought that barrel was something I could jump onto. Um, okay, where do I need to go? I don't think they're going to see me until I jump down. I just kind of like book it, but I think, I think maybe I'm trying to go over there. I can't really tell. Oh, I can't jump over that. There we go. We go that way. Alright. We got some right there. Again, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going, but I think I'm going right there to that platform. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta take the long way around. Nice. Perfect. A little bit of a swing there. Getting kind of into a nice rhythm here. Are there more? I hear them. Okay, we have another gate. Um. Hmm. What's over here? Memory? Neko Corporation. Isn't isn't Neko like cat in Japanese? Is that a little bit of a reference there? Uh, Neko Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. 
<laughs> okay, so again, more lore. We know where these things come from now. They were actually created by humans. Great. So... Is there some way to get in there without hacking that door? Like, is there an alternate way in? Or is it just that door? Because I see a barrel in there, but I'm going to have to have enough time to get inside and not have them right on my tail so I can close it. Yeah? Oh. Alternate way in right there. Okay, so we hack the door and we just run. Got it. And then we hack the door again. Go, go, go. Nice. Are they, are they still coming? Are they wait, why are they exploding? What? What happened? If there's some way to, like, wipe them out, I'd like to know what it is. All that does is get me back up here. How good is that? Confused. Okay, so there they are. I just got an achievement for jumping 500 times. I'm not sure which way I need to go now. Because I got rid of them, but... can really do is either go this way or can't jump up anywhere from here I don't think yeah actually what's the point of this barrel because I can just jump straight onto that so there's got to be some reason this is here there's the chain, but I think that's just... That's just like a, an aesthetic thing. What is going on? I'm confused. Still need to find a way up. I see a platform above us. I don't get it. guys have been, like, significantly reduced in number. Hmm. What is the point? Okay, I'm seeing something now. I see that. Okay. So the door had to be open. Oh, okay. I get it. I didn't want to open the door because I thought they were going to, like, come all the way back around and get me. Maybe they still will. Did I push it too far? No. No, there we go. Okay. 
Oh, there's more. All right. Where do I go? <laughs> Going up here. Nice. <laughs> I got jumping skills. You guys can't even imagine. So I'm going to get away every time. All right. So, did we make it already? Oh, the elevator. Is this the one that everyone said, like, the elevator won't work? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Get off of me. I have to avoid them until the elevator gets here. Classic video game. Classic video game trope. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Wrong way. Go, go, go. Get off of me. It's not open. Oh, there we go. I gotta get in from the top. Oh. Alright, alright. Go, go, go. Go up. Get off of here. <laughs> they kind of look like those little, um, the, the water bears. Tardigrades. It's like these tiny little microorganisms that can survive anything. They live in like the harshest environments on Earth. Okay, lots of controller rumble as the elevator goes up. Oh, door's stuck. What now? It's a. There's a stool here. I guess we just go back up onto the top. Any any zerks up here? We're gonna have to face them when I go back down, though. Here it is. Put the transceiver on this antenna. All right. <laughs> Energy drink. <laughs> Pour it in there. It'll speed up the signal. I, sh I should have tried it, just, just to see what the game would say. Like, no, that's not quite right. Wow. So it's like a city built on a huge dam, almost? That's kind of what it looks like. Or we're, like, inside of something? We're inside of, like, a huge walled city thing? Look, the view, it's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city, it was meant to be a shelter. Like a fallout shelter, or... <laughs> uh, those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. It's like, um, it's like the Truman Show. <laughs> uh, humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I mean, just because I'm here, I got nine lives, dude. Like, just because I'm here doesn't mean anything. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. Maybe it's, like, blocked in the programming or something. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. All right, that is going to do it for episode two, guys. Um, I will continue this next time. Looking forward to it. And I will see you around.